Hi, Rupert. Brian here. Hi, Brian. Um, so we were, I think it was Justin, and we were, t um, or anyway, someone over there, we were talking about practices. And um, with that same seeming individual, um, I also come from the root tradition of Buddhism. And um, in the last week or two, I, there have been like 12 instances of um, contemplation of death that have come into conscious experience. And I just thought that was fascinating. I mean, even one of my non half kind of hybrid Buddhist and non-dual um, teachers and and then um, I think Steve Raylene just told me Ajahn Sumedho's last talk was contemplation of death. And so this was a practice that the Buddha strongly recommended. And I'm curious about your thoughts on um, whether it fits with this understanding, whether it's useful, what the um, expected outcome of these contemplations would be. Yes, contemplation of, of death is a very powerful practice. What's going to happen at death as far as we know? Everything we know, everything we love, everything we cherish, everything we experience, everything we do is going to be taken away from us. Well, that's meditation. Why not, why not do it before we die? That's what the Sufis call dying before you die. Letting go of everything that is not essential to us and only that which is essential to us remains. That, that, that is the value of um, contemplating death. It, it, and it's fine if, if we need the prospect of death to experientially divest ourselves of everything that is not essential to us, then contemplate death. But a, another way would be simply go. Another way to do exactly the same practice would be to take the thought I am and allow oneself to be drawn into its referent. It would be exactly the same. So I was in a, a, a gathering and we were studying one of the, the Buddhist discourses on, on contemplation of death and, and I shared my experience that the, I, I don't, this is the question. I, the, it seems that the mind refuses to consider the, the actual death of this, this body um, until that moment comes. And a few weeks before the October retreat here, some of you who were here remember I, I was bit by a copperhead snake and I ended up at the hospital and um, I didn't, I never saw the snake so I didn't know what it was and the, the whole team of doctors didn't know what was wrong with me and I, my condition was worsening by the hour. I, I was terrified. I thought, this is it, you know. The, the blue and the purple was starting to come toward the vital organs and I thought I didn't do enough. I had I haven't stabilized enough. In that moment, the, the the mind couldn't be bothered with contemplating death until death was on the doorstep. What's that about? I think the the, the fear that you felt then is, is not a, a true 
indication of your spiritual maturity. It's a, it's a, it's a natural response to an emergency situation of the body when you're faced with death. For instance, if you were um, diagnosed with an illness in bed and you were you went to a hospital and you realized that you had a week to live, not two hours to live. I don't think you'd experience the same fear. Because you could contemplate your impending death, but without the, the panic and the extreme symptoms. Yes, just, you're still going to die in a couple of days' time. But I don't think it would elicit the same fear in you. So I, I think the fear you, you felt is, is um, uh, proportionate to the emergency situation. I don't think it's an indication of your understanding. But so, it, what would be, what would be more powerful than visualizing again being bitten by a snake and having a couple of hours to live? Visualize you're, you're on your deathbed and you've got two days to live. What would you do with your attention? Because you're not in a heightened state of panic now. <coughs> I think that's a fairer, uh, a fairer circumstance in which to imagine yourself. You've got, you're on your deathbed. You've got two days to live. What are you going to do with your attention? What would you want to be contemplating? What would you want to be thinking about? That's really helpful, and. Um I think I can con contemplate that. <laughs>